Alrighty, we are gonna talk about your digestive system and some of the key main things to have some good GI repair, the six R's. I'm gonna cover these, talk a little bit about it. Um, I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution, host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, and I'm on social media, so again, free, feel free to subscribe, follow, to make sure you stay updated on all the great information I've got coming out. And I've got some really fun announcements coming up too, so you don't want to miss out on those. Um, but one of the things that we talk about this GI repair and really dive into this, this can be a really tough issue for people. If you have gut issues and have been struggling with them, it can be really frustrating to figure out, okay, what is it? What's going on? How do I get to the bottom of this? And am I doing the right things moving forward? Right? Am I doing the right things moving forward? So when we talk about GI repair here, when we talk about this, the, C, the, five, the six R's, to make sure you are focused on these and really see each one through to the end. So I'm gonna cover what they are and talk a little bit about it. The first R is remove. Remove. And this is gonna be removing anything that irritates your system. So I'm just gonna put irritate. You wanna remove things like alcohol inflammatory foods, things like gluten, things like dairy, right? Meh. Remove any other pathogens, any parasites, <sighs> any, any yeast issues, any candida infections. Yeah, you want to make sure you're removing things that are causing a problem. You might be like, duh, that makes sense. I know, but sometimes you don't know what's there to remove if you're not doing a GI map. Go below this video, click that link, learn how to work with me and how you can get your own GI map to dive into some of these things to make sure that you're not missing any of these steps. So remove is the first one. The next one is reduce. And the main thing to reduce here is sugars. Um, there, I just saw something recently that they were talking about the amount of sugar that is in the American diet now, everything in foods now, foods compared to even 30 years ago, they add so much more sugar to everything, sauces, marinades, dressing. So if you're eating a salad and you're like, this is super healthy, but you're using a dressing with a crap ton of sugar that doesn't really need to have it. And it didn't used to have that stuff in there. What? Yeah. Yeah. Sugars are a big problem. Big problem. So making sure you're reducing your sugars helps your gut a lot. Everything else that you're gonna do, you know, reduce your sugars. That's a big one. The next one here is um, restore. And you might be thinking, oh, is this like restoring bacterial balance or something like that? Ah, we're, we're gonna talk about transit time. Restoring your peristaltic activity, stuff moving through your gut and how you do that through is uh, making sure you're getting enough fiber. Making sure you're getting enough fiber in your diet to move things through. Again, the typical American diet does not have good amounts of fiber to help with this. So it's important that we restore that. Um, replace. This one you might be thinking, duh, of course. Replace, right? Replace what? any digestive support that you would need, specifically enzymes. Enzymes, I find that people, um, because of the, you know, irritations that we have, because of the excess sugar we have, because of the lack of fiber, our gut is not naturally going to release the enzymes that are no normally there. Also, super fun fact, <laughs> if your hormones change and you're under stress, that can impact your body's ability to naturally release said enzymes. So this is why it can be really helpful and fun for your gut if you are helping it with enzymes. Would you have to do this forever? Not necessarily, right? It's, it's about getting that process started and getting your gut to work better on its own. So that's the, the fourth R is um, replace. The, the next one, the fifth one is re-inoculate. And that one would be, of course, right? Healthy bacteria, right? So um, I'm just going to put bacteria, but we want good bacteria, keystone bacteria, commensal bacteria, healthy bacteria, good bacteria that helps us break down our food and have good mucus production and everything else, which leads me to the last one, which is repair. 
And this is related to the mucus lining in your gut, which is really strongly connected with things like your immune response, neurotransmitter production, all these other things. It's really important that you have a good mucus lining. When your mucus lining goes, everything can become an irritant for your gut. So these are the six R's for gut repair. Again, if you have questions, let me know. Go below this video, click the link to learn more about gut testing, to learn more about how to work with me on that. If you need anything else, don't hesitate. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Please share it if you find somebody else that needs this information. And then you can always leave a question below. If you're not comfortable question, questioning below, if you're not comfortable leaving something you know, as a question or a comment, feel free to reach out to me. All right, have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.